going to be learning about conditionals in this lesson. This means we're running some code only under certain conditions. To start, let's learn about if and else. These words tell our program to make decisions. The code for these is structured similar to how we might use the word if and else in English. For example, you might say, if we are out of milk, go to the grocery store and get more. Else, pour a glass and drink it. One thing to know is that you can add more than one condition by using something called else if. So your code would be if a, then do X, else, if B, then do Y, else, C. For example, you can use this to check if the user has been a high score. If score is larger than a high score, then print, you have been the high score. Else, if the score is equal to the high score, then print, you have tied the high score. Else, print, you did not beat the high score. You can have as many else, if statements as you like but each one costs computing time. Note that you don't need else if or else at all. You can just quickly check something using if alone. If and else if always have a condition check, even if the condition is just true or false. But else doesn't have a condition, it just runs after the other conditions fail. In the next video, you'll learn more about this. Bye, Supercoders!